Hey, it's Jordan again. Give me do another demo of uh, FPM. Uh, for this one, I think I want to show the most common use cases, which is converting packages from, say, Ruby, Python, Perl, or PHP world to uh, native packages. And so to do that, I'll, I'll start with what I know most, most readily, which is Ruby packages. Let's convert, let's get the Rails gem into a dev. So what this is doing is it's going out to RubyGems that are already downloading the Rails package, figuring out what its dependencies are, extracting it, and building us a nice package. You can see it figured out what version it was. It installed stuff to a weird location, but that's just because I am using RVM and it uses the environment. So let's see another example if I just want to make an RPM of it. Same thing happens, but again, without having to know anything about Debian or anything about Red Hat packaging, changing three characters in your command line, you can get packages in both formats. You can see that uh, FPM is aware that uh, because this is a Ruby, Ruby application, there's no architecture dependencies. Uh, but if you are packaging a gem, say, Nokogiri, uh, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correct, which is an XML library, uh, that compiles native code, so you will see the native architecture here. Um, let's show another. What else can we show about this? Uh, oh, by the way, uh, the the machine I'm on is Ubuntu, but you can build RPMs and devs on pretty much any platform using FPM. Uh, let's see. So to make this whole picture complete. Let's look at the Ruby ja, the RPM and ask it for the requirements. You can see it, it, it knows that it has certain requirements that Rails depends on. So that's gem. Let's see if we can show something else possibly outside of my comfort zone. Let's look at Perl. It's been a while since I've used Perl, but one of my favorite uh, Perl modules was this regexp colon colon common. So let's make this into a, into a dev, shall we? So instead, before where we said the source package type was jam, now we're saying the source is cpan. And we'll make a dev of regexp colon common. And this is going to do something very similar. It's going out to CPAN, searching for the latest version. You can actually specify what version you want, but for the purposes of this, this example, I'm not doing that. Um, it should download it. It'll run the test suite that CPAN comes with for, for most modules. And eventually, we should end up with a package. But there's some interesting things you may not have known. Like, you may not know that. Uh, and I'm not totally sure if it's Debian policy or the Debian tooling. They don't like packages with capital letters in the name. They a lot of the tools enforce downcasing. So FPM knows this and fixes it for you and saves you from having to know all that crap. So we ended up with this Debian package, and it knew the version, latest version. You can see it comes with a bunch of files, and it installs to what looks like the correct location. You can see the name. You can see the author is the same as the one that's on CPAN, which is pretty cool. So that's Perl. So we've shown so far gems and Perl. How about packaging Django? It's capital D. I'm not entirely sure. Let's actually show what's going on for this example. So we'll put in verbose mode. So you can see it's down. Hopefully you can see this. It says it's searching for Django, finds it, it's downloading it. This is all output from easy install or whatever tool it happens to be using. Uh, lots of boring output. And at the end of it all, we get a package. And hopefully Django 161 is the latest version. I'm just going to assume that it is. But we can verify for it. Uh, for fun. Uh, 
la 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 la. Latest release, 161. Awesome. So, again, inspecting the contents of this. Lots and lots and lots of files. The command we used, uh, we wanted to output a dab, but now let's say, again, we want to just make an RPM of it. That's easy enough. Same things happen. It downloads any... It downloads the source that you're asking for, and it packages it up neatly for you, this time in an RPM. So now we have a Python Django 161 RPM and a Python Django 161 dev. Pretty sweet. How about PHP? I don't know any PHP modules, so I will pick a popular one. How about Mail Mime? see what happens here. I don't know how long this is going to take. Oh, well, while we're waiting for that, do I have Node installed? One more package format I would like to demo, which is NPM. Really? No. Really, really, Ubuntu, it's called, uh, but NPM is NPM. Okay, cool, so let's do, oh, let's see, NPM, it's been a while, I think Express is still a fairly popular package, but I'll just pick a popular one. Most depended upon, underscore, oh, there's Express, all right, so let's do Express. I hope this works. It's been a while since I've tested Node. Let's go back to, hooray, our Python one finally finished, and we got, or sorry, our pair one finally finished, and we got PHP pair mail mime 1.8.8. Cool. And you can see it installed in what hopefully is the correct location. And, um, by the way, if you don't know what these commands are, uh, dpackage-c will show you the contents of a package, which is kind of nice. And uh, that's similar for RPM is rpm-q uh, l, and then give it the uh, name of the package so we can show Rails for fun. By now, node should be done, and uh, looks like it worked. Question mark? Hooray! So, in this demo we have shown gem to rpm dev, as well as uh, Perl cpan, uh, what else, php pair, and node, and yeah. So the purpose of all of these things is to sort of help bridge the gap between your development folks and the operations folks the development folks maybe want to use the packaging formats for their, their particular platform, which may be CPAN, it may be RubyGems, it may be NPM, whereas the operations team may be more fixated on, we want RPMs if they're a Red Hat shop, or we want Debian packages if they're an Ubuntu or a Debian shop. Um, and this should be the glue that, that binds you both together and makes you both happy. Because happiness is all that matters. <laughs> 